hey traders welcome back to another video so in this video we're going to do a weekly recap of the connor's rsi 2 robot that we have running on our portfolio if you're not sure what that is you could check right here you would see the playlist for what the strategy is and the progress that we have so far so let me just jump straight into the charts and take a look at what trades we had so far for this week well uh so this week was quite an interesting week we up a couple percent but we in a floating drawdown moving into next week so let me start from the usd chf uh we had a sell trade coming down to the end of the week i mean it, the week started off you know had a couple trades then it slowed down and then we had a bunch of trades at once and then a lot of them went negative so uh so we, we had this sell position here that came out positive before the market started to rally um on the dollar we had nothing for the week on the pong this is one of the negative positions we have moving into next week so we got the sell signal here and then we had this big this well we had a buy signal here we had a big bearish candle and right now we kind of consolidating at the bottom here where we have some support so we need to wait and see our rally to go back up um this i don't think this this possible for this trade to actually be positive because we close is dependent on the cross of the five period um, so at the moment the five period would be in a position somewhere right here so uh, we just look into kind of minimize on the loss on this one on the dollar yen we started the week we had a sell position that was positive and then we had this position here that hedged um, so it kind of scale its way in to take a minimum loss so we sold then we sold and then we closed off so this is this is the power of the scaling all right on the euro pong we had nothing on the aussie dollar this is the next one that we're going into next week with um we got two sell positions at this point here then we had two buy positions at this point then we had a big bearish candle and we came down and now we're consolidating at this level right here so hopefully we get a rally um if we get a strong bullish candle then it would reduce the loss quite a bit but we would have to wait and see how that plays out at the beginning of the week uh the same thing with the new zealand dollar this one closed off for a uh, positive right we made a slight profit here the index us index we have two cells at the bottom and then we have a sell at the top the market started to pull back and then it started to rally a bit and now we at resistance so for us to turn this around we need to see a big bearish candle to break through that five period exponential and close um yeah so let's see again on the um pong yen we had a buy position now this one came for a slight loss because this was three three pips um so that that is fine there's a small a small position we had nothing on the euro yen and on the card yen well the card yen was the best performing for the week um we had two sell positions up here then we had this big bearish candle and we closed and then we had another sell position and then another bearish candle and we closed so um this kind of made up a bit for some of the losses for the week on the other pairs and we had nothing on the aussie yen so at the moment we are floating on a negative um 5.48 percent and in in the grand scheme of things they're not too bad because that is 
uh, less than 1% per trade that we have opened. So, you know, that's still pretty, pretty decent when it comes to risk. So let me take a look at my FX book and see how that looks. So in total, we have a gain of 14.09% on the account. Um, at the moment, we have the, the drawdown here. So the floating um, gain on the account is 9.14. Now this is taking into consideration the floating drawdown at this point. All right. So we'll see how the week rallies out and then um you know we'll try to manage some trades and see what happens from there so at the moment we have 11 percent for the month and yeah so these are this is where we at for for this week right we made a slight profit we have a floating drawdown working into next week um I am working on another bot that I want to put on goal. Um, it would be specifically to trade goal alone. And I will also do the first release, hopefully this week for Christmas, uh, indicator for the community to use. So I would let you know where you could go to download that. Um, basically like a trade tool that I'm working on. So it would assist you with working out your lot sizing based on the ADX not the ADX, the ATR um, and the percentage that you choose that you are willing to risk per trade so anyway there you have it, that is what we have going on for this week hope you all enjoyed this video uh, if you find the content is interesting don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like leave a comment let me know how your trades were this week and what you have you know looking forward to for the upcoming week so there you have it you can see here, here our sound eh? so anyway hope you all enjoyed your weekend see you all in the next video peace